If you are working on any electrical, make sure the main power to the house is off. And if you don't feel comfortable working with electrical, I would call a professional to do the work for me or somebody that could help me. They need the mounting bracket to bring it level to the surface. Oh, uh, yeah. To be repaired. I think they need to, when they did this, this one, is it? They, yeah, that needs to be put in the back of that. Yes. And then brought up to there, and then the cover needs to be put on there. So. Yes. Yeah, they have they have these, and they have like little blocks. Oh, no. You'll put a little block behind. It's like a like this size of a rubber block. Oh. Yep. So I need to have the power off yeah, when I do this. Does this, uh, this one will us work? This one does work. Yeah, this one works just okay. fine. I think it's just dangerous that it's exposed like that. All uh, right. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. So I don't think this is gonna be much help. Right here. I probably have to break these off. Because that's not going to do nothing for me. It's just blocked right there. So. Let me take these off. I'll probably just take it like this. Just bend it back and forth until it comes off. Unless you have metal cutters, it comes off right there. And then kind of bend everything back. And there you go. Make sure everything's nice and bent back, like this, and then that's how to fix a receiving electrical box. So that's going to kind of, the pug's going to go on top now, and we have to cut this open a little bit more. So I'm going to have to either take a picture of this wiring, or remember the way it's wired because I have to go behind it or well, I can probably do that there you go bam because there's not enough wire ba back here anyway to even wire up another plug right, so I think all these new plugs are to where you can't see them anyway but I think you need to screw the backing plate onto this anyway to click it in to click the face plate on because there's no there's no screw in the middle anymore but anyway <clears throat> so the problem I'm having now is that the screws aren't long enough so there's really nothing she can do unless we get double length screws to come out of there because it's not reaching the box anymore. Okay, so I bought new screws. These are the old screws. These are the new screws. And I just took this to the hardware store and matched it up. But let me... Put that in like this. And even though this is, because you're messing with everything, make sure the main power is off. But, uh, because the wires are so short, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to have it on one. Hopefully that one will keep it still. Because you're not touching the faceplate. problem I had with this is I'm using the hand out so I kind of put this screw in to open it up 
Make sure the threads aren't same size screws. So now should just go in. Bam. Hopefully this don't jump out later. But there you go. Just one screw. But what's the matter with it? See that? Like, it's coming off. Like right oh, okay. So the, is this the one that the plug keeps coming out? Well, it, the plug doesn't come out, but I'm afraid it will one day. Because it was flat. No, I mean, when you plug it in, yeah. does the um, does the plug fall out of the socket? Or no. is it just the actual plug uh, is loose inside of the wall? I think so. I think there, well, you know, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Okay. Uh, I know what's going on. It's just because it's not loose. It's the wires. They um they packed more wires on this side uh -huh. of the wall, which they should have distributed everything, and then it would have sat flat. See, because nothing's nothing's loose. Either that or the box itself is sticking out of the wall. Is that repairable? Is that something you could repair? But I gotta I gotta see. Okay. Because see how this comes up? All you would need to do is just distribute the packing. Pack it in. But I need to cut off the power first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, so. I'm trying to make this flush. Well, I can tell you. Right now. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Because the box itself is sticking out so the box to install this box wrong or it's very loose okay so let's see what we got there's two nails here and it's kinda they're in so it's not letting me so, I gotta get these nails out a little bit. Because that's what's holding it. So. I gotta keep coming out a little bit. So, I'm not gonna get rid of the nails. But where it's not I want to push it back it's not so that's probably more like it like that maybe I'll hit this and I'm gonna go in a little bit down here because it's so loose, I'm gonna screw this into the box, and then it's just gonna, the box is gonna come out again. So I might just see if I can get away with putting a screw in here. Or maybe I'll take this now out. I'm just gonna take both of them out and put two screws in there so it's tight and I can realign it perfect. At least the box is receding. Um, I'll take a little bit of this drywall out. Let me 
Yeah. Get it back some. And so, into receding. And. Uh, that's perfect. The thing I'm worried about is the screws touching these screws, but I don't think I have to worry about that. Or the wires if you're using the bolts. So, just put that in, keep the top loose. So, Obviously, the plug has to screw back into the box to make sure them holes are still somewhat aligned. So, that looks like it's somewhat aligned. So, just to be safe. Because this is going to be out. I just wrap this up in tape. Okay, so. Technically. This whole thing's supposed to be in a box. But. I'm not fortunate enough. So at least it's protected. And it's still in a box. And it's more protected. the longer screws because I pushed it back there for pretty far so push it more this way but I need the top to go a little more that way to cover up that little bit so maybe let's hold it this way bam wedge it be that. Bam. That's good enough. You can't see that little bit at all. So we'll see how much the face plate played with. This is plastic so not too much but the face plate pulls it down a little bit. Uh, maybe 
I'll do that so that grab. That's the same thing. Somehow the threads got messed up. So I just brined it in there. And it threaded. And bam. There we go. That's nice. And then. This is nice, right here, and that's how it's done. It's tight, and it looks good, better anyway. It trips. Yeah, it trips it every single time. So it every time you plug it in, it trips. All right. Well, I have a plug in my thing that I can plug up and see if it's hooked up right. Okay. Uh, and most of the time, it's not hooked up right. Okay. These GFCI plugs are kind of weird oh, really? about being hooked up right. You got to run the, like the line on the bottom, I think, where it says uh -huh. line and the load that yeah, it carries. It can't be hooked up backwards because it won't uh, work. Okay, okay, okay. And I think that light needs to be green. Yeah, well, I think, well, this one, I think no light means that it's green. <sighs> oh, it needs to be green. So this one's... Hooked up backwards. Somebody hooked it up backwards. These are very touchy. So you have to follow the line and the load. So the main power has to go in the line. And the carrying power has to go in the load. So you really have to figure out which is hot and which is carrying to the next outlet. Take it apart, and you just need to figure out which is hot, and look at the back, and figure out which is the traveling, the power, and hook that up to the load. So, I see that's probably what happened right here. This is normally, so that needs to go on the top. The plastic... Right here, normally there's a strip, and that's always for the load. This is always for the hot. So, well, what he did, I see what he did. See, this color, silver color always gets white, and hot color always gets black. I mean, the gold color always gets the black. He hooked it up backwards. That's what he did. You read the back, it says line. But gold is black and silver is white. So now I'm going to hook them up the other way. So this got stuck in here. I have to recut that. And hook them up on the bottom. So you see right here is a wire stripper. So... I went ahead and pigtail it because I like the pigtail. So this goes all the way around. So that's in there tightly. Just because pigtailing it is a better connection. So whatever she uses won't get hot and wind up blowing out on her. If you've seen that, I put it in the wrong hole. That's the hole for the actual the um face plate. So 
Miss whoever hooked this up hooked it up backwards. So just be careful if you do electric. Because you can really imagine this. The guy that did it burnt the house down. Before I tested it, it wasn't lighting up. So now, I'm going to test it. And what's wrong with it? Why isn't it lighting up? It isn't lighting up. I think maybe he broke the plug by hooking it up backwards. Okay, actually orange is, means that it's off. And this is on, so. I'm not even sure this orange light was on before and it was hooked on backwards. So, I mean, I wouldn't play with it. Experience before I hooked these up wrong and it was red instead of green so i know how to hook them up line hot goes with the line and the load carries to the next outlet so that's how it always is so i hook this up and the reason why this is like that because it's old wiring hot and cold and i think the bedroom is an addition and that has a ground Ah, oh, that's a flathead. I hate flatheads. You need more light? No. I'm alright. Thanks. So, I gotta get that out. This thing keeps falling out of the plug. It's because the uh, things inside aren't holding the plug, so it's just falling right out. And that's a problem. I'm noticing this old wire has a ground right here so I'm wondering why this is 14-2 and this doesn't have a ground so maybe I might just cut this open and see what's up with that ground and at least hook it up to the box ground right there Yep, just as I thought. So I hook up the ground. I'm gonna hook up the two grounds. I'm gonna hook up both the grounds together. And then I'm gonna pigtail it. And then I'm gonna hook it up to the box. Or maybe I'll just wrap them around a screw. Cut all this back. And I gotta cut a pigtail. What I have to do it is put them all together like that, and then I screw just them. Put in. them all together and screw them in because if you can see how I undo it, the nut twists everything up nice and pretty anyway. So you can always recheck your work, but this is a ground. Just remember that because it's white right here. And then hook this up and then hook this up to the ground. And then we we'll put it in. And I think because this isn't take out these screws and just have it sitting in here somehow. Maybe if it'll fit. And you take these screws so it's not pushing back on anything. And the face plate should fit it perfect. Perfect. See? goes in but I have to take these screws out and I'm just pushing on the back because there's a little plate that holds it I just push it on the back and it kind of comes out of that plate so now I just push it in hooked everything up a pigtail the ground make sure the white goes with the silver and the black goes with the gold the make sure and that line's on the top. Make sure everything's pigtailed. The ground's it's hooked to the ground. And just push this in. Right there, just like that. And then, I'm gonna just pop that back on. Just like that. So it went on just like this. And it was like that. And then bam. 
and got a new plug. I'll put these in first because it has like a push slide system. So I'll just kind of push and then slide. And then it holds it. And then I tighten it. I hate flatheads. Uh, need to get one of them push button screwdrivers. You just push the button and it screws it in. Those are nice. I mean, it won't make the flathead stop sucking, but it will make some of the job easier. Because flatheads, even if you use a screwdriver, it kind of comes off the battery. It spins too fast. Alright, so that's it. So now I need to cut it on. I'm going to test it with my tester. Wherever that might be. And let's go. Because it has a ground. Yeah. It's hooked up with the ground, you see? It's grounded. That means it's grounded. The two lights means it's grounded. Uh -huh. One light would mean it's not grounded. And because this is off, it's hooked up correctly. Huh. Okay. Great. And that the bottom. So that makes me less nervous. You know? Like, and that way, okay. yeah, that way you don't have to use this. I know, you can right? just plug it straight into the thing. Oh, great. All right. Here are the, um, here's the boxes right here. So, let's see if... Here, do you want me to move that other way? Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, they aren't ground at once. Well, actually, this one is grounded, but it's um, it's painted over. Oh, I think it's a baby uh, safety thing. I never took it off. Let's look at a little nightlight. All right. It's not cool. So bad, yeah, I, there's no way I can test this because I have a ground. Oh, you have a trouble so I would have to take this off and test it. Mm, yeah. uh, All right, so that one's grounded, so I'm gonna change that one. Yeah. No, might not have no power. The outlet. I think the outlet cut off when you cut the other power off. So the plug. So I just need to put the ZFCI in here. Cause I don't see your ground. This is an old house. It's just it's just power and neutral. It's really uh, it's kind of dangerous too. Sometimes I can see sparks flying out of. Yeah, if something happens to this plug, the plug will act like the breaker. Here you go. Yeah, exactly. That's the GFCI. Yeah. That's what the GFCI does. So that's that. That's in the pigtail. So yeah, this will act like a like a breaker. This actual thing is grounded. And it, it, see, load and line. So you hook it like that. The line is always the power and the load is what it's going to carry to this. If that was connected to this, you would hook it up to this. But the main power, you would hook up to the line. So you would pigtail it the same way that you're screwing it. Just so. All stay connected, and you get a nice, strong connection. The other plug wasn't screwed in. That's probably why, because it's all the way down here. So let's see if I can see right there. Let's see if I can hit it with this screw.
don't think these old metal boxes are made for these GFCIs. I'm going to have to cut this out a little bit right there just so it would actually fit. Because the box is crooked. So. Right, so because the box is so crooked in there, the plug's going to be crooked. I ain't going to have There's no chance. So, I want to make it not crooked. So, what I'm going to try to do is maybe keep it loose. And keep this loose. So... See, it kind of straightens itself out a little bit. And when I tighten this up, it'll kind of pull it out. It pulled it out just enough to not look like it was all funky. So, the box was really small and this barely fit. So, it's probably bumping on the back of the box. So, it's not pulling out like it's supposed to. Now what is wrong with that one? It's just not working? So, remember I said if you try to plug it in, the plug falls Oh, you're the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... so I'll test yeah. it with this. It's on. So, I'm in the hallway right now. Okay, so let me go to the... Alright, so I just... That way, if someone else is downstairs... They can play with the circuit breaker, and once this lights go off, then I can change it. The, the thing that's wrong with this is that the two plugs go in like that. When you plug, say this is the plug, and it goes in like this. So when these get loose over time, they get loose like this, and it never, it doesn't hold the plug anymore, and. The plug just falls right out because the um the arms are open now. A new plug would be they're closed. I like this because I don't know if you can see it or not. I like that. I like this. Ames A M E S. But it has a thing right here and it lights up. If it's hooked up correctly, these two will light up. If it's hooked up not correctly, this will just light up. It has an um, indicator right there. If the ground's not hooked up, they'll all light up. So, let me do that. Burn that. So, now they had they use these. I guess this is is a cheaper plug because they only have the push connects. I don't like to use the push connects, although these have them as well. The only way I use them is I put the main power, the load, and the traveler on here. And whatever's in here, like a light, I will use it because a light bulb, to get these out, is you want to kind of hold on to this. And... Wiggle it out just so you don't have to cut shorter and shorter and shorter. And it's really short, and then you have to run new wire. So, kind of keep this separate because you still want to hook that to the bottom and that to the top. So, this is taped up. I think it's a good idea if it's a metal box as well, so it doesn't, nothing touches. And for the next person to who sticks their fingers in there and to pull it out, but I don't really tape it. Besides, 
The reason why he taped this is not to tape it. This would be for the reason to tape it, not the push connect. So, same difference. There's a lot of wire here, but I want to keep it like that. And just not slice it. So, I'm going to pull it like that. Make sure you keep everything separated so you can hook it up the same. I guess they already ran into that problem because it looks like he's making it longer by putting a wire nut on there and making a bump out. So just make sure you keep everything separate. That goes to the that. And then this goes on the bottom. So hooking it up. Um, right here, I kind of messed up the pigtail, so I'm going to use this to pigtail it. And that's if you... See, all I need is a screwdriver to change the outlet. And make sure the power's off. And possibly a tester or something to plug in to the switch to make sure that some plugs have ways that you can cut the cut the plastic too but in this case I just need something to pigtail it so I use the old because I don't have the tool so I just use the old plug pigtail it If you don't have the expensive wire cutting tool, then you would buy the plug with the sheathing cutting option. It's just all you need is a screwdriver. the expensive wire cutting tool they sell plugs with sheathing cutters but in this case I got lucky and I didn't need all that so I just use the holes to do the pigtail make sure the pigtail is the way you're tightening the screw and black always goes to gold and the white always goes to the silver then green to ground so you kind of want to stuff it like that so it sits in there straight and distort all the make sure it's all evenly put in make sure there's no wires stuff everything back there so this won't screw in so I had to use the screws from the old outlet because they were fatter. So that was the problem with that. But now I got the old screws and they're going in nicely. Keep that in mind because I didn't I wasted some time trying to plug them in. So that goes in like that. And then that goes in like that. And it should pull the plug out a little bit. There you go. Bam. Alright, so now you can um, turn on the power. Okay. And I'll just... Yeah, you see how I... I kept it loose. But... 
to pull it nice and flush. Metal. Metal ones are nice. Because they don't crack as easy as plastic. The metal faceplate. But 